Spencer, what are you doing here? I'm, I, I'm here for work. We're investigating the murder and abduction of two five-year-old boys. I don't like the idea of you working on things that are so sad. I know. You're so thin. I was going to come see you the second we solved the case. What else is going on in there? Nothing. Don't lie to your mother, Spencer. We know. We feel things. Did I know a boy named Riley Jenkins? Riley Jenkins? Oh, he was the story you made up. No, no, he was a real kid who was murdered when I was four years old. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I've been seeing things. Don't say that. I've been having dreams about his death since I was very little, Mom. Well, you were always a reader. It affected your dreams. I remember when, when I was four, we went to a, a funeral. Your right? Uncle Daniel's, maybe. No. I also remember we moved houses, and you and Dad argued about it, and you told Dad that I was in danger. Because you were. Why, why did you think that? I don't know. I just knew. I told you. A mother knows. We're animals, Spencer. We feel things. I'm sorry. I talked to the heads of nine different hospitals. There's no one who matches your description. Thank you for trying. You know, if this person has an Axis One condition, her release wouldn't be as important as whether or not she keeps to her medications. All right, thank you. Again, thank you very much. I went off my medication when I was pregnant with you. I spent every day in terror, but I made it. And it was beautiful. I had you. Oh, God. What is it, baby? Women have talked newborns. Excuse me. I don't understand.